Hello everyone, my name is Braden Gerard, and today I'm going to talk to you about custom fields in Strapi. In Strapi, if you go to the content type builder, you'll see we have all these fields on our collection types. So if I were to create a new collection type, let's just call it a post. And if I were to continue and then add maybe a title to that post, I can say that short text, sure, add another field. So currently I have the option of, you know, text, rich text, passwords. You know, there's 12 or so in here by default. But now you can add custom fields from plugins that are on the Strapi Marketplace. So this vastly expands the type of fields that you can have. Currently you can see we don't have any custom fields in here, but we can install those plugins from the Strapi Marketplace and then add those in on our content types. So let's take a look at how you would do that now. So if you go over to the project that I have set up here, this is a fresh Strapi uh, installation from Create Strapi app. I'm just gonna stop the server here and we're going to install the Strapi plugin color picker. So to start, there's four Strapi plugins that you can get from the marketplace right now. One of those is the color picker. So we're gonna install that one with Yarn. And once that's installed, we will run our project again. And then we'll go back over here to the project and we will refresh our content type here. And let's create a new one. So we're gonna create a post, continue. And if we go over to custom now, we now see that there is a color picker. So I can select color, I can give this a name. Let's just say uh, background, this. And then let's also add a title. So now my post has a title and a background color. If I save that, uh, then we can go over to our content manager here. And in our content manager, we can create a new post and you'll see that we now have this color picker, a brand new custom field in Strapi. Now that is pretty awesome. And that expands all kinds of options for us in Strapi. So we could have things like location pins or we could have things like dynamic content that's pulled in from Spotify or other third party sources like that. So you can add all these new types of custom fields based on the plugins that you can install from the marketplace. Opens up a whole new world of creativity. Developers can build these plugins and then these plugins can be put on the marketplace to create fully custom fields. This allows your team to expand on the UI and UX of the interface. If you wanna build a better UX for uh, your team, you can build custom fields for that. If you wanna add a custom video player field, you could do that. There's all kinds of options and they'll all be available in the marketplace as these plugins get built out. Thanks for watching. Bye.